Hello and welcome back to Cthulhu Says Christmas. Cthulhu greets you. I do not, mortal. Why do you keep saying that? Stop lying. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Did you know the narrator would agree? I do not care what the narrator says. Okay, so we are in a pocket dimension. Very cluck cluck and talk to us. Although I thought he's going to for a while. I cleared out all the battles and none of them were carolers. Though there were some kitties. Do you know I love cats? <laughs> this is quite a pretty area, actually. Uh, I'm slightly concerned about the music getting copyrighted. Because I was playing Santa Craft and the music got copyrighted over there. It was, you know, a specific portion of it, but... Ooh. This area seems much bigger. Hopefully it wraps around as well and... Gives me treasure. You got a candy whip. This weapon for Bill Snipple allows him to reuse the candy ability. Another treasure chest. You got a stealth dress. Armor for Baba Yaga makes her less likely to be targeted. Useful, although that would be more useful for crystal. Uh, you know, I think this is looping around like the other dungeons before it did, but I can't be sure. Um, I mean, the treasure chest goes away once you find it, and other than that... We just pick a direction and hope it's the correct way to go. We'll see. My solution was to save the game. You got a cursed one. This weapon for crystal hits hard. Oh, I may have been a little worried over nothing. This is basically a dead end. Except for the item. Power. Okay, that does indeed hit hard. The first word is two syllables. And... Didn't I just pick up something for her? Was it a pestle? No, dress? Stealth dress. Um, uh, that's a lot of hit points. At the... The chicken power seems more useful. Alternate. I only just now noticed that it tells you where you are. Hours into the game, and I just now notice. Hmm. I'm hoping the game doesn't let me miss treasures. But most RPGs do let you miss treasures. But I guess as long as I back away from the big enemy, it'll be fine. Instrumental versions of holiday music is my favorite version of holiday music. Um. Okay. You got a rainbow coat. Boost all of his Bill Snickle stats. Useful. I feel like I might have passed some stuff up, so I'm going to backtrack and see if I can... Find anything. Okay. We got medic robe. Hit point regen for crystal. It's usually concerning when an RPG starts giving you healing armor and stuff. I think we'll be fine though. Now if they start giving healing items for all of your characters, then it becomes more concerning. Okay, so the treasure chest stayed, it didn't disappear. Uh, I thought they vanished afterwards. Maybe it's just make the area easier to navigate. But there is, um, unless they've changed it, there's a new game plus mode. 
though. If 100%ing the game requires getting all the items, I can always go back for it. I wonder if these are like plates, tree ornaments, or just a very interesting looking apple tree. Probably ornaments. Oh, two boss enemies. Okay, let's go ahead and give him his new armor. Spiffy. What does this spiffy coat do? More likely to be targeted. Oh, okay, yeah. Making him the tank was useful, but that might also just be better. Crystal. And a grobe. Um, plus 60 to healing. That must be Bell. Uh, they kind of look like D&D monsters. Bell is just a giant Christmas bell. A little on the nose, don't you think? There's two of them? This is bad. Bell has already begun to multiply to fill all space. I am Bell. Before the deep ones, I was. Before the great old ones, I was. I am eternal. When my note rings out, nations fall. Dimensions shatter. Existence breaks. Don't let its appearance fool you. It's just trying to stall for time while its power increases. Fa la 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 la, fa la 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 la, ha 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 ha. Smash, smash the bell, silence the bell. Oh no, the bell. Here comes the bell. Wait, I can't tell if he was being sarcastic or not. <laughs> oh, so far, this is my favorite version of Christmas music. <laughs> Okay, um, physical lightning charm. Just rotate through all her skills. Let's see, fire. I do. Hmm. I wonder if I should. Spread the damage out between the two. Keep their hit points fairly even. Speed up, disarm. What? Oh, speed up Cthulhu. Uh, ally heal, taunt. Okay, it was actually doing decent. Uh, Decent damage. I thought I sped Cthulhu up. Disarm. There, stun. Raya. Adds hyper bar. Reusable. Okay. Okay, poison. Maybe shouldn't have tried poisoning again. Physical damage. And go ahead. Party defense up. Okay. Physical bonus versus insane. Okay, we'll try. I may not come back in time for that to be. Physical damage and range. He's enraged. Frostbite. Okay, physical. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a 
much bigger damage boost than I was expecting. She did not get any damage bonuses that round. You defend. A. Victory! All enemies defeated. Get the level up. Everybody level up. Self heal taunt. Jolly laugh. Nice. I am Belle. I am eternal. I was eternal. Where's my grandfather? Where's Santa Claus? Not here. The other three. I mean, two. Members of the League of Christmas Evil know where he is kept. You have busted me, sleeper of Riley. You fought well. Perhaps you are with the Chosen One after all. Always but on Cthulhu. Bell fades away. You did it, Baba Yaga. You really did it. Yippee! With Bell defeated, the dimension will not last much longer. And when it is gone, you will return to your own dimension. But what about you, Cluck Cluck? What'll happen to you? I will once again lose the power of speech and become just a regular chicken. Don't say that. You're no ordinary chicken. You're my best friend. You are too kind, little miss. I have so many questions. I wanted to ask you, what's your favorite color, your favorite number, your favorite food? I like yellow and the number 10. And the Mouse King was most delicious. <laughs> See? This is things I didn't know. If only we had more time. We have all the time in the world. I will remain forever on your head, little miss. Look, look. Bah. Bagok? No. Ah. Baba Yaga cries for several minutes. Cluck Cluck looks for worms. Okay, did it take away his intelligence as well as his speech? Are you going to be okay? <laughs> yes. I have to be strong. For Cluck Cluck's sake. Cluck. It is now Christmas Eve, the 29th. A powerful blizzard pummels the town, preventing anyone from going outside. A roaring fire. A cup of hot cocoa. A book of ancient curses. This is perfect. What could go wrong? Absolutely nothing. Seriously? You're not going to do that switcheroo thing you do? Hey, I'm snowed in too. Take a day off. You deserve it. I do deserve it. Day passes uneventfully. The blizzard subsides. Tomorrow will be an ordinary day. It is now Christmas Eve, the 30th. Golden egg. You know, to commemorate her getting to talk to Luck Luck for a first. Hey! The Baba Yaga's house has grown legs. Cthulhu decides to spend time with Baba Yaga. You arrived just in time. I did it! My hut has chicken legs. Look at how pretty it is. Baba Yaga's hut has indeed has chicken legs sticking out from the bottom. It is currently standing. It looks like a chicken. I know, it's gorgeous. That's not what I said. I haven't trained it yet. At the very least, I need it to sit and stand on command. Sit! The chicken liked hut that does nothing. Come on, sit! Still nothing. The hut's appearance doesn't change, but it feels like the hut is acting as if it's superior. Step aside. I'll make that chicken brained hut listen. Hey, hut, sit down now or else. The hut shuffles back and forth on his feet a bit before standing in the same position as before. I've done all I can do, it's up to you. <laughs> Maybe Cluck Cluck can try talking to it. Cluck Cluck? Cluck! The hut sits down. It worked! Cluck Cluck again! Cluck! The hut stands up. Yes! Cluck Cluck, tell the hut to walk over there. Cluck! The hut walks over to the designated spot. Thank you, Cluck Cluck. Cluck! The hut takes a little bow. Standing, sitting, walking, it does it all. My chicken hut is fully operational. You can't sell it, though, since other people don't have a convenient chicken to act as a control mechanism. That makes it one of a kind. It's definitely unique, I'll give you that. I think I'll take it out for a spin and see how it handles. Baba Yaga's hut lays another egg. Cthulhu got a golden egg. This item boosts chicken power. It's now Christmas Eve the 31st. Freaky sword. Yes, it was sword. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Baba Yaga. Vroom, vroom, vroom! Look how fast I'm going! Baba Yaga is poking her head out of the window as she's riding her hut around the area at surprisingly fast speeds. I don't even need Cluck Cluck's up now. I figured out an alternate touch base method. I guess for a chicken based propulsion system, it's okay. If that's the way you want it to be, then I challenge you to a race Chicken Hut versus Cthulhu. 
I accept. Cthulhu always wins. See that tree in the hill over there? First one there wins. That tree? No, the one way back there. Oh, so you mean that tree? No, that's too far. This tree then? Yes, that's the one. All right. Don't cry too much when I beat you. Three, two, one, go! The race is off with Baba Yaga in the lead, followed closely by Cthulhu. This is followed by Baba Yaga in the lead, followed by Cthulhu. Which is followed by Baba Yaga in the lead, not so closely by Cthulhu. Puff, puff, slow, down, so I can win. No way. To compare triumphs again. Hey, why are you sitting down? The race was rigged. Clearly pitting an old man like me against a brand new house was an unfair contest. <laughs> if you say so, boss. Hey, don't be like that. Here, have a trophy. Cthulhu receives a trophy with a chicken on it. It says, consolation prize. I mean, they say that's a chicken and it looks a little bit more like an owl to me. Where did you get this? Custom made. I have it lying around just in case I have it get in a chicken contest. It happens more often than you think. There's something in the trophy. Cthulhu got a freaky sword. This weapon for Cthulhu allows the terrify ability to be reused. It is now Christmas Eve the 32nd. Stone whip. Boom. Swift dress. Another pistol. Present wand. No oh, graveyard! Let's go see if we can talk to that person from before. Cthulhu decides to return to the graveyard. There are still some graveyard messages he has not yet read. Cthulhu begins to read. Pythagoras, a real hack and a total bore at parties. Eileen de Boa, lived the way she, that she died, died the way that she lived. Denver, Dakota, always wanted to travel to his namesakes. The author, nobody cares what you think. Cthulhu tries to reading the gravestone messages. You are Cthulhu, right? I'm October. It's a woman from before. Today is your lucky day, for it is indeed I, the mighty Cthulhu. But please, no autographs or flash photography. Can I ask you a favor? Of course not. But I am intrigued by your bonus. Continue. Can you teach me how to raise the dead? Now that is an interesting request indeed. Well, I've always said that the world could use more zombies. I'd love to. Wait, zombies? No, I meant a full restoration from death to life. That's not possible with the elder carts. It's zombies or nothing. Well... I suppose I could learn about zombie summoning. I'm supposed to be a mad necromancer after all. Cthulhu spends several minutes discussing the proper summoning techniques, feeding, and general care of zombies. Thank you for your help. Maybe I'll have a chance to repay you sometime. Payment is nice, but just the thought that there might be more zombies around is a reward enough. I love those creepy guys. <laughs> we'll meet again. Farewell. Oh, and head back to the graveyard before you go home. You'll find something useful there. Cthulhu heads back to the graveyard. Hidden behind one of the grave markers is a treasure chest. Cthulhu got a swamp dress. Armor for Baba boosts her poison damage. That's two items for Baba that boosts her poison damage. Interesting. It's now Christmas Eve, the 33rd. Expedition. Cat tunic. Ooh. Kitty. Cthulhu decides to go back to the pet store. Upon Cthulhu seeing Cthulhu enter, the shopkeeper moves to help another customer. Cthulhu, you came back for me. Of course I did. I wasn't about to leave an old ally of mine with the transgalactic madness wars locked up in a pet store. I knew I could count on you. Now, about that payment. I already gave you what you wanted. I want more. Hi, new one. Just the words I wanted to hear. But where is the owner of this dump? Ah, there she is. The Uthorian comes with me. The what? The green kitty. Not a kitty. I should have known such a unique individual as yourself would be attracted to such quality. Well, let's talk payment plans. I think not. The cat's a friend of mine and you will release it into my custody immediately. Now just a minute. That cat cost me quite a pretty penny to acquire. I can't just give it away for free. I've got a business to run here. Look at my face. Now, how much are you going to charge me for the cat? <laughs> I'm not even going to try. That's better. Come on, Pauls, let's get out of here. Cthulhu and Pauls exit the pet shop. You have no idea how good it feels to be out of that place. Once that poison is out of my system and my powers return, I'll contact a friend of mine to come pick me up from this backwards planet. And my payment? I'll make sure that my ride brings it. I'm going to need a down payment. 
Fine, take this. Cthulhu got attack cat tunic. This armor for Cthulhu gives him hyper mode at the start of combat. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> when the time comes, meet me at the park. It's now Christmas Eve, the 34th. Ugh, it's so cold. So much snow. Yes, it's nothing. Why, when I was a youngin, I was running around sky high snow. Barefoot, both ways, in the snow. Both ways? Keep your glory day stories to yourself, old man. It's not definite, but. Do you have a lead on the next League of Christmas Evil member? Just a hunch. All snowstorms that affect Christmas land originate in the Christmas caves in the far north. If the Christmas caves are generating an abnormally large amount of snowstorms, that could indicate something's amiss there. Weather? We're basing our next dungeon choice on the weather. She's not wrong. Gee, thanks, narrator, for making me look really dumb. That was sarcasm. We're going to a really cold place, Cluck Cluck. Are you going to be warm enough? You heard the chicken. Let's go. It is now Christmas Eve the 35th. It's cold. Crazy cold. Better in a corner and wish for death levels of cold. An ordinary party would be dead at this point. But this is no ordinary party. You've got that right. The great, to the great Cthulhu, this is nothing. I laugh at such a feeble attempt at death by freezing. I'm the snow mating. The cold can never. Don't you dare finish that sentence. Affect my core temperature or well-being at all. Gee, what did you think I was going to say? I'm not bothered by the cold. These clothes may look raggedy and hobo-esque, but they're actually quite warm. And I have the power of the chicken. I'm fine. I didn't know chickens were immune to freezing temperatures. Wait a second, you're right. Chickens freeze in the cold. What am I thinking? Oh, gar. Ugh. Sorry, 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 Cluck Cluck. I'll whip you up a heat spell for you right now. Cluck Cluck, quickly fails. <laughs> Poor Cluck Cluck. Smells like chicken. Maybe I ever did it. Rock. Who could live in such a freezing cold place? Besides me, of course. I have a guess. The giantess gorilla has always been a fan of snowfield caves. Doesn't she eat naughty kids? It's a good thing we don't have any of those with us. Oh. Don't look at me. Yes, I may have tried to steal presents from orphans once or twice. Does that make me naughty? Yes. Yes, it does. But that's in the past. Now I'm a crusading avenger justice on a quest to rescue the big guy himself. So you can steal Christmas presents directly from the source. You can't prove that. That's literally what you told us when you joined our party. Past Baba Yaga was a tricky one. Can't always trust what she says. You're not gonna let her eat me, right? Of course not. It's far too late in the game to replace a party member. The programmers really don't want to go all that bother making a new character that most players will never see. Exactly. I've heard that 99% of all players don't even make it past the tutorial. 99%! That can't possibly be right. Maybe if you start in higher quality games, players would play past the tutorial. Never! Focus people. Kitty the monster. Kid right here. As I was saying, you have nothing to fear. Now let's go fight an old woman. And that's where I'll call things for here. I hope you're still enjoying this series. I know I am. And I also... And we continue to enjoy the music. Mm, this one is a nice spooky vibe. But I don't think it's too different from the the area before the, the candy area. I'll have to go back and listen to it again. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day and a good holiday season. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.